Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is impact and tramp diode. These diodes are under the category which is called avalanche transit time devices that is ATTD. The basic principle of working of this uh, ATTD that is avalanche transit time uh, devices is that if we manage a delay between voltage and current in an avalanche mode along with the transit time then the material shows negative resistance. This is the major uh, characteristics of avalanche transit time devices. So first uh, type of such device is impact diode. It is impact avalanche transit time diode. Now this diode operates with two uh, basic characteristics. Uh, first of all, this impact diode shows negative resistance. Uh, that means if you are applying a DC signal, then for DC operation, current decreases as voltage goes on increasing. Whereas if you apply AC signal, then in that case, the current and voltage are 180 degree phase shifted. That means current is 180 degree out of phase compared to the voltage. Then there are two types of processes in uh, this impact diode. First is avalanche process. If a PN junction is reverse bias and if you go on increasing the reverse bias, then there will be acceleration of the minority carriers such accelerated minority carriers will strike to the crystal lattice it will produce more number of electron and hole pairs and it will help to improve the conductivity such process is called avalanche process so this process takes place in impact diode and in this case the amplified current is given as m into i0 i0 is the leakage current m is the multiplication factor that means the amount by which the current is getting amplified second process is the saturation process almost in all uh, semiconductor uh, devices the saturation takes place so in a pn junction the motion of electrons is uh, given by vd that is called drift velocity a typical value for silicon material is 10 raised to 4 holes per meter now let us discuss the working of this impact diode this diagram shows a typical construction of impact diode it consists of n plus region which is connected to positive side then p region in between this uh, at the end at the other end we have p plus region and in between this intrinsic layer is formed so as we discussed the major characteristics of this diode is there is a delay problem so it produces a phase shift of 180 degree between voltage and current this is mainly due to the avalanche uh, delay produced in the avalanche multiplication process during the positive cycle uh, whenever this plus sign is a uh, plus supply is connected to uh, n plus region and minus is connected to p plus region that means during positive half cycle as the positive uh, signal goes on increasing more number of holes are injected in n plus region and more number of electrons are present in p plus region those electrons tries to accelerate and those electrons and holes strikes to the crystal lattice so more number of electron holes and pairs are generated that means avalanche uh, process takes place now the time delay is combination of the time required for generation of avalanche current multiplication and second is the transit time transit time is the time required for the charge carriers to pass through the drift space the major characteristics in this case is here the rf voltage is superimposed on the steady bias voltage now the current is maximum at the junction. We will, we will consider that the multiplication, avalanche multiplication takes place in the thin layer between N plus and P region. So current pulse is maximum at the junction when RF voltage is zero. This current pulse is not maximum when RF voltage is at pi by two, but it becomes maximum when RF voltage is zero. Thus the current is maximum when voltage is zero. That means there is a phase shift of 180 degree. Now advantages includes its efficiency is more compared to the gun diode and it operates at very high frequencies. Its major disadvantages are it produces a noise signal and requires high supply voltage. Applications includes the power tube and radar system. Next is trapped diode. It is trapped plasma avalanche trigger transit time diode. 
Actually, there are slight differences as far as these trapped and impact diodes are concerned. Trapped diode is basically P plus N, N plus structure. Now the cathode is connected to positive side, anode is connected to negative side as shown in this diagram. We know that AC signal is superimposed on the DC bias signal. So whenever oscillation starts, most of the power is getting reflected. This reflected power adds with the RF signal. That means the strength of RF signal increases. Now the total voltage uh, is addition of RF voltage and DC bias voltage. So due to this reflected power, the total voltage gets increased. Whenever this total voltage becomes greater than VTH, VTH is the threshold voltage. So whenever total voltage becomes greater than the threshold voltage, the avalanche, pro avalanche process starts. We know that in case of avalanche process, more number of electron and hole pairs are generated. This more number of electron hole pairs which are generated during the avalanche process is called plasma. Now, this plasma creates a large potential across the junction because of which the voltage gets reduced. That means this plasma opposes the DC potential. So the total voltage reduces and the current starts flowing towards the cathode. Now the advantages, the major advantages compared to the impact diode is it is having higher efficiency and low power dissipation. The major disadvantage compared to this impact diode is its operating frequency is low. Chart shows comparison between tramp diode and impact diode. In case of tramp diode, the transit time is low. Here transit time is high. It is having low operating frequency for impact diode. Operating frequency is high. Then efficiency of tramp diode is comparatively high. It is low in impact diode. Low power dissipation for tramp diode. For impact diode, power dissipation is high and tram diodes are more sensitive to harmonics whereas impact diodes are less sensitive to harmonics. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.